Hey Melissa. Nice to see you. Hello dear neighbor. You look beautiful. Come in and let's drink coffee. Okay. Thanks for inviting. You have a lovely house. Thank you. God has blessed us. We bought this house recently. My husband finally was able to buy this home. No loans, no debts. Okay, you are truly blessed. I need to go to the grocery store. I will leave now. Wait, I'll drop you in my car. You have a wonderful car too. Yes, we needed it to travel to our workplace. I use the public transport to travel to places. Don't worry, pray and God will bless you. Right, the store has arrived. Thanks for dropping me. Bye now. The neighborhood has so much and I have nothing. I am jealous of her. I have good for nothing husband, who can't earn much. I am not leaving him today. Hello wife, why do you look sad? Because I have a husband who can't afford to buy anything. We stay in a rented house, and we don't have a car. I went to our neighbor's house and she has all that she needs. I am jealous of her. Wife, let's not see what others possess. Bible says, you shall not covet your neighbor's house. That's easy for you to say. Well, let's wait for God to bless us. There are so many in the world who can't even afford what we have. You want to wait. Wait till I die. I am not taking this anymore. Take loans and buy me house and a car immediately. But we might not be able to pay the debt. I know you will be able to pay them. Don't think of paying debts. We will to live our life to the fullest. If you still keep thinking, that means you have no love for me. There is no point in us living together. Okay, don't keep crying. Let me talk to the banks and see what I can do. That's my husband. Finally a house and car that you desired. Yes, I am so happy. It's time for me to show it to others. And our car that's outside too. But I am afraid of paying the debt every month. I don't know how I can afford. Don't worry much right now. Let's just enjoy the moment. Okay. Hey neighbor, how are you? Hello, nice to see you. We bought the house. It's bigger than yours. Wow, so soon. I am happy for you. Yes and this car is also new. It's a BMW. Now don't get jealous. Why would I? I am in fact happy that you own a car and a home. May God bless you even more. Ha ha, bye now. I am busy. I need to tell others too. Wife, I am unable to pay the monthly installments. The debt owed is more than what I earn each month. What have I got myself into? You are the reason for it. You forced me to do something which I can't afford. You had no patience. What? How can you blame me? It's your responsibility to pay the debt. The bank manager is coming home now to collect the money. I don't have the money. He is here. Let me hide myself. You talk to him. Hello ma'am. Your husband hasn't paid the money for two months. Is there a problem? Sir, he said he doesn't have the money right now. Well if you couldn't afford it, you shouldn't have bought a house and car. You have a week's time to pay, or else we will take possession of the house and car. Okay, I'll talk to my husband once he is back. Did you talk to him? What did he say? He said, we have a week's time to pay, or we'll need to surrender our house and car. It's impossible to pay in a week. You made me do all this. I am running away for a month. You handle everything. I am not the reason. You can't afford anything. That's your problem. Nonsense. Ma'am, you have not paid anything. Your husband doesn't respond either. You will need to leave the house and car. Now move out. Did you see the consequences of covetousness? Bible says, 
And he said unto them, Take heed, and beware of covetousness, for a man's life consists not in the abundance of the things which he possesses. Luke, 12, 15. Let us fear God and be satisfied with what God has provided us. God bless you all.